Hey guys, Ty the RV guy here again and with me once again is Chris from DC Power Corp who supplies all of our batteries and our solar setup here at Rangeland. And what we're going to talk to you guys about now is the solar package that we offer at our dealership from Chris here. So a lot of the questions that we get Chris from a lot of new campers and even experienced campers is they're talking to us about solar. You know, what's the best system to go with? You know, what's, you know, when should I be using it? How to maintain it? All that kind of stuff. So do you want to take us through all that? Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. So I think the first thing to touch on is, is what really does a solar system do? Absolutely. Uh, some of the uh, questions we get asked a lot that um, really sort of highlight how people misunderstand what solar is. People will ask like, um, what, what, what do I need for solar to run a microwave? Or of how course. much solar do I need to, to make a pot of coffee? Right. And that's not really how it works. Um, essentially the easiest way to look at a solar package is it's an onboard battery charger. So every day you're using battery power to power all your devices and during the day when the sun's out, the solar panel is replacing that power back into your battery bank. Right. So that it allows you to do two different things. First off, you can sort of do more with your RV while you're dry camping, but also two, you can go for longer because without a solar package, you'll be surprised to find how limited you can be and how many days you can go camping before you start running out of power. So Absolutely, absolutely. Um, if we look at it in terms, um, anybody who saw the, the battery segment we did and, and we were talking about how much power people use in a day. So the average person is gonna use about 50 to 60 amp hours of power every single day. Um, if you have two six volt batteries and you're gonna go dry camping, you have about 220 amp hours of storage capacity. So if we think of 60 a day versus 220 total, yeah. we're looking at three or four days before we start running out of power. Exactly. A lot of people want to go for a week. They might even want to go for two weeks. Um, so uh, this is where solar can be a huge benefit. Um, if we look at it in terms of our most simple package that really is on the market, the 185 watt kit um, has really become sort of the starter package. And, don't let that fool you because uh, I'm going to explain how much of a difference it can make for you. Yeah. Every single day, on average, in spring and summer months, this will replace about 45 amp hours back into your battery bank. So instead of using 60 every day, we've cut our net consumption down to 15 amp hours a day. Wow, if you serious. have 220 amp hours of storage in your in your six volt battery bank, and you're only using 15 a day, yeah. you just increased your camping time to over two weeks. No kidding. So just with the most basic and simple of solar kits. Uh, completely solve the problem for people that want to do long-term camping with a fairly simple battery bank. Okay, yeah. and the fairly simple battery bank, you're talking something around like what, two six volts or two something like that? Two six volts is the perfect starting point yeah. for probably 80% of the RVers out there. Okay. One of these kits with two six volts will allow them to do everything they want to do. That's awesome. Now, of course, for people that are looking to do a little bit more, you know, they've got an inverter on board and, and we're going to do all kinds of things. We're going to watch movies and we're going to make toast and coffee in the morning. We're going to microwave stuff. We want to really use the unit as if we were plugged in right there's packages for that too we can go with four six volt batteries we can go with a 300 watt kit 
and just sort of increase the storage capacity mm -hmm. and then increase the power that we're putting back in very easily. And for our campers out there that don't know what an inverter is, do you want to touch on that a little bit too? Absolutely. So what an inverter does is it essentially allows us to use all our 120 volt devices, our AC power devices inside the trailer, even though we don't have plug-in available. Yeah. It takes the 12 volt battery power, converts it into 120 volt AC power. So now all of our outlets remain live inside of our trailer, even if we don't have shore power available. So awesome. Yeah. yeah awesome. You bet. Now, some people, campers, obviously like shade, right? We like yeah, to park in the trees. Having one of these mounted to your roof may not um, be, be ideal. appealing. It yeah. may not be ideal. So we have some other options available for people that want to take advantage of solar, but maybe can't get good sun exposure. Uh, this is one of the newest items here that solves that problem. It's a portable folding solar kit. It has all the advantages of a roof mounted kit, but you can move it around throughout the day to really maximize your exposure to the sun and uh, get some good recharging going Absolutely. On. So uh, we've got this one set up here with a adapter cord where it actually just plugs right into the pre-wired solar port on the trailer. The controller is built right onto the back of the panel. It's that simple. So this That's is something it. that you can just simply do yourself. You Absolutely. don't have to have the professionals install it. It's nice and easy. Get to where you're going. You pop the legs out on it super easy. Get it somewhere where it's facing the sun. Plug it in. And yeah, I know most of our trailers all come with actually this simple little, what do you, what do you call that? Is it a, a ZAMP plug in? This is or? a pre-wired ZAMP port. Gotcha. Um, the kits that we supply come with uh, alligator clips, eyelet terminals for systems that don't have the pre-wired port. Right. And they also now come with the ZAMP pre-wired port and the Furion connector as well if you happen to have a Furion. Port. Oh, awesome. So, awesome. Nice and easy for everybody to just connect, uh, go right to the batteries. You don't have to take the lids off the boxes and clamp onto the batteries directly right. anymore if you have one of these ports. So very convenient. Awesome. So one of the questions I get asked a lot, especially for the customers that like to leave their trailers in storage, they have this big solar setup. Is this something that is going to allow them to essentially have have a, say a solar kit like the big one here or something like that, is it going to keep their battery maintained through the winter time? Is that a safe way to maintain things? Or? Well, we'll touch on the winter in a second, but okay. I'm glad you brought this up because one of the biggest issues that we see in how people use their units throughout the season yeah. is the, uh, the downtime, the time where it's parked at a storage lot. Anybody who saw the battery segment heard me mention about how you've got all these things that are drawing a little bit of power when it's not being used, right? So yeah. if you take your unit to a storage lot and you leave it sit for two, three weeks, you may be surprised when you bring it home before you use it, the batteries are completely dead. Uh, one of the biggest advantages to these systems, now this focuses more on the roof mount because right. obviously a portable panel is not going to be utilized while you're in storage. But if you have the roof mount style where it's up there and you've got your unit parked in a storage lot, this will keep the batteries topped up the whole time it's in storage. So oh, that's awesome. When you pull it out of the unit, uh, you pull your unit out of the storage lot on a Friday afternoon, you're going to go camping, you're fully charged, you're ready to go. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah, so very convenient. Solves a lot of battery issues. Um, so Yeah, well, it's nice to have the convenience you pull up to the trailer it's you know charged up ready to go and start camping right absolutely, so yeah get on the road yeah yeah um you know one thing we should touch on too a lot of people ask uh you know it's a it's a bit of an investment uh you know how long can i expect to get out of this exactly solar, right? yeah so um these panels are designed to last 30 years plus the warranty on them is 25 years so just think about no that kidding. I mean, these kits are going to outlast most of the roofs they get installed on uh, very good value. They're warranted against all kinds of weather conditions and they are warranted against hail. Uh, even the big hail storms we saw last summer here in yeah. Calgary, uh, we had two panels that were destroyed due to hail. Think about that. I mean, no all kidding. The cars and houses that were, that were destroyed from these major hailstones. Uh, two, two warranty claims we had in that, and it's fully covered. So if it does wow. happen to shatter it, uh, you're fully covered, but it's very rare. They are tough, they're meant to be outdoors. They can take everything that mother nature throws at them. So. Awesome, that's great. Was there anything else that you wanted to touch on, Chris, for solar? Well, I think that's about it. Um, Perfect. Certainly, if anybody has any uh, questions, uh, feel free to talk to the parts professionals at Rangeline RV. Um, this kit right here, uh, just to sort of circle back to the 185, I mentioned it was sort of the simplest of, of yeah. Things, but how it can make a huge uh, difference to the average camper. $899 installed. I mean, Absolutely. That's what we're talking about 30 years plus of, of life expectancy. Amazing value. So. Yeah, no, it's and it's absolutely. It's yeah. a great way to go for sure. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks again for watching. Thanks again, Chris, for coming down here and talking to us about the solar and the batteries today. You're if you right. have any questions, you can feel free to contact me or even anyone at the dealership there and ask us about the solar, and we'll get you guys set up and ready to go. Thanks again for watching, and thanks again, Chris. Thank you.